This is just a video on the Hydrawise unit, and you may already know this, but it's also worth just refreshing your brain. So these Hydrawise units, especially the residential ones, so the smaller ones, so the Pro C or the Pro HC, they have what's known as a milliamp capacity. Um, so let's take an area like this. We have a flower bed here, and then we have another flower bed over there. Now we've got two options when we do the install. We can put one control valve here, and then run a lateral line into there, and then run a lateral line over there, and into to that guy that way it's just one solenoid operating off of one wire but what we tend to do is we put one control valve here which then feeds this area and then we have another control valve over on the other side of the sidewalk which then feeds that one and and then what we do is we just tie the wires together that way when you turn the zone on instead of turning on one valve you're turning on two valves now let me just take you inside so I'm going to first fire up a zone that just has one solenoid connected to it, which is the front yard. I'm going to hit run, hit OK, and you'll see here the current or the milliamp is showing around 325 milliamps, and that's fairly normal for one solenoid. I'm going to hit stop on that. Now I'm going to go to a zone that has two solenoids connected to one field wire. So we're going to do front yard drip. I'm going to hit run on that, hit OK. And you'll see that the current has doubled. So we're almost at 600 milliamps. Now, this controller has an 800 milliamp capacity, which means that if you have three solenoids or solenoids connected to one field wire, this controller is going to cut out, say there's an overcurrent, and the zone will stop. Now, one of the reasons why it took us so long to figure out what the issue was, was this valve box right here has been covered in grass for the last year. So we really need to make sure when we're laying grass, we're actually cutting out the valve boxes. And then the second thing, whenever we are installing those hydrowise units, we just need to remember that you can only have two solenoids on one field wire, which means that if the system has a master valve, that means that every single zone has already got one solenoid on it. So that means that you can only have one control valve for each zone. Now, if this is a larger commercial controller, like the HCC, and you'll know it's commercial because it's humongous, that one has a much larger milliamp capacity. That one has around, I think it's either 2,400 or 1,400 milliamps. Amp. so that one you can have a lot more solenoids on one field wire but just keep in mind with those hydrowise units or the pro c or even the x2s with the wand and the pro hc you can only have two two solenoids on one field wire if you have more than that it's going to cause a milliamp um overcurrent of over 800 and then i'll be the guy getting up every single morning with a notification telling me that hey i need to go out there and fix it